a video created by R.S. Madhukeshwara, Assistant Professor of Physics, Government College for Women, Mandya. The interconnection of various active and passive components in a prescribed manner to form a closed path is called an electrical circuit. A combination of DC source and passive components is called as DC circuit. A combination of AC source and passive components is called as AC circuit. In general, the circuit elements can be connected in four ways. Based on that, the electric circuits are classified as series circuits, parallel circuits, series parallel circuits, star delta circuits. In series circuits, all the circuit elements are connected in series. In parallel circuits, all the circuit elements are connected in parallel. The combination of series and parallel circuits is called series parallel circuit. Star delta circuit is not series or parallel nor series parallel circuit. In order to analyze the given electrical network, it is very important to know the differences between the electrical circuit and the electrical network and their types. The electric circuit is a path between higher potential and lower potential through which the current flows. There is no open path in an electric circuit and hence current flows through each part of the circuit. They are classified as linear circuits, non-linear circuits, unilateral circuits and bilateral circuits. When the flow of current through an electric circuit changes uniformly, with the changes of voltage, then the circuit is said to be a linear circuit. When the flow of current through an electric circuit changes non-uniformly with the changes of voltage, then the circuit is said to be a non-linear circuit. In unilateral circuits, the property of circuit changes with the change of direction of supply voltage or current. In bilateral circuits, the property of circuit does not change with the change of direction of supply voltage or current. A combination of various electric elements connected in any manner whatsoever is called an electric network. There is a chance of the presence of an open path in the electric network and hence current may not flow through all parts of the network. They are classified as passive networks and active networks. A passive network is one which contains no source of EMF in it. An active network is one which contains one or more than one sources of EMF. In order to analyze the given electrical circuit, it is very important to know the basic terms related to electrical circuit such as node, branch, loop and mesh. A node is a point in an electrical circuit where two or more circuit elements meet. A node where only two circuit elements meet is called a simple node. A node where more than two circuit elements meet is called an essential node. In circuit 1, A is a simple node but whereas B and E are the essential nodes. In circuit 1, F, E, D and C are all common points and anyone can be taken as a node. A branch is a path that connects two nodes in an electrical circuit. An essential branch is a path that connects two essential nodes. In circuit 1, B, E and B, C are the essential branches, but whereas AB and EF are the simple branches. 
the branch BC can also be represented as BCDE and the branch AF can also be represented as AFE because F, E, D and C are all common points. A loop is any closed path in a circuit in which no node is encountered more than once except the initial point. In circuit 1, AB, EFA, BC, DEB and AB, CD, EFA are the loops. A mesh is a loop that has no other loops inside it. In circuit 1, AB, EFA and BC, DEB are the meshes. A network with P branches, N nodes and L independent loops will satisfy the fundamental theorem of network topology given by B is equal to L plus N minus 1. The network shown here has 3 nodes, 4 branches and 2 independent loops and hence it satisfies the network topology 4 is equal to 2 plus 3 minus 1 which is equal to 4. The circuit components are classified into two categories namely active components and passive components. The five ideal basic circuit components are voltage sources, current sources, resistors, capacitors and inductors. The circuit components are also referred as circuit elements. An active component supplies energy to an electrical network and hence has the ability to control the flow of current. Examples are battery which is a DC source and function generator which is an AC source. A passive component can only receive energy, which it can either dissipate or absorb. Resistor, inductor and capacitor are examples for passive components of an electrical network. Network analysis is the process of finding all the currents and voltages of connected components in a network. A complex network can be analyzed easily by reducing it into a simple network using network theorems. The laws and theorems which are used to analyze the DC networks are Kirchhoff's current law, Kirchhoff's voltage law, Ohm's law, Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem and superposition theorem. These theorems are always beneficial to find the voltage and currents in complicated networks. In my next video, I will discuss how to analyze the given DC network using Kirchhoff laws.